This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 3, number 45. So here we're asked to simplify the following complex fractions. All right, so a quick math note, right? We have a math note here. So let's take note of the preceding math note. And this is talking about simplifying complex fractions. So the example is a over b divided by 1 minus 1 over a. All right. And what they're saying to do is to look at the denominators in the numerator and in the denominator and then multiply this whole thing by 1 represented as the two denominators multiplied by each other or all the denominators. So a here times b, right, over a times b. Right, because this is equal to 1, so we're going to multiply by 1 to go ahead and simplify this. All right, so when we do that, we're going to get in the numerator a over b times ab, right, because when you multiply fractions, you just multiply across the numerator and denominator. In the denominator, we're going to have 1 minus 1 over a times ab. Okay, and then just simplifying that, this right here is going to be a times a, so a squared times b over b in the numerator, because this right here is over 1, over, and we're going to distribute this, so this is going to be ab minus ab over a. Okay? Let's go ahead and simplify this. We know the b's will cancel in the numerator, so we get a squared in the numerator, and ab minus the a's cancel minus b in the denominator right? So a squared over ab minus b is um, the simplified version, okay? So go ahead and let's look at it this way, right? And let's do part a of this problem looking at it in that same way. So what is the denominator in the numerator? So just looking at the top, do we have any fractions? Yes, we have t. How about in the denominator? We don't have any. So let's just multiply it by t over t because that's the only denominator we have in the numerator or denominator of this complex fraction, right? So if we multiply this across, we're going to have to distribute the t here to both of these terms. So that's going to be t times t is t squared plus t times 1 over t makes it t over t. That's in the numerator. In the denominator, we have t squared, right? Simplifying this, that's equal to t squared plus 1 over t squared. All right? So that right there is the simplified version of this complex, complex fraction. Let's move on to part B. Part B, we have, again, only one fraction in the denominator, nothing in the numerator. So let's go ahead and multiply this by x over x. Okay, here's the only fraction that we want to get rid of. So then let's go ahead and multiply across. 1 times x is x. Here we got to go ahead and distribute the x times both terms. So that's x squared plus y squared x over x. All right, these cancel out, so we're left with x over x squared plus y squared, right? And that again is the simplified version of the complex fraction. Part C, we have, um, here we have a fraction divided by a fraction, right? right? One way to do this is going to be using the top fraction, square root of 3 over 2, and multiplying it by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of the denominator is 2 over 1. This is equal to square root of 3 times 2 over 2 times 1 is 2, right? And we see 2 over here cancels, so it's just square root of 3. If, we're, if we do it this other method, we're going to multiply this by what's in the denominator, 2 over 2, right? That's just 1, so it doesn't change anything. When we multiply this, we get 2 times that, which is going to be square root of 3 times 2, with 2 in the denominator, all over... This is going to be multiplied by the 1, so 2 in the numerator over 2 in the denominator, right? So
So that's going to give us 2 and 2 cancel out, so that's 1. 2 and 2 cancel out, so that's square root of 3. If we simplify this, that's just square root of 3, right? So either way we did it, we got square root of 3 for part C. And there are many ways to do many problems, so we're okay with that. Finally, part D, we have, again, just one fraction, and that's in the denominator. So let's go ahead and multiply by 2 over 2, right? Multiply across, 1 times 2 is 2. Multiply these. Remember, this is over 1, so we're multiplying the numerator here. It's just square root of 2 times 2. Denominator is 2 times 1 is 2. 2 is canceled here, so we get 2 over square root of 2. Okay? The only thing we need to make note of here is oftentimes, um, or it's, it's standard to not allow square roots in the denominator. So one way to fix that is to multiply by the square root in the numerator and denominator. Okay, so to simplify this, we have to do this extra step. Okay, I'm going to even write it again in green to know that this is something extra. Okay, and it is necessary to simplify it. So we multiply this across, we get 2 square root of 2 in the numerator, and multiply this across, we get 2 in the denominator, right? And that is going to give us just square root of 2. Okay? All right. So that's going to end for a CPM pre-calculus, chapter 3, number 45.